Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another apartment prepping video. Uh, now if you saw my first video, you know that we pretty much keep food in every corner of this apartment because we just don't have like a pantry space for food. Well, the same is kind of true for our non-food essentials. Uh, we keep them all over the place at this point. Um, but just to give you a little bit of background, I do live in a two bedroom apartment. We do not have a pantry. We do not have a linen closet, but what we do have is a um, coat closet, a laundry closet, a utility closet, bedroom closets, and then we have a larger closet, which is where we store our bulky items. So for instance, our Christmas tree, uh, any sort of boxes or bins, we, we actually store in this particular closet that you are looking at right now. Now, I'm not going to show the whole closet because it is not camera ready, but I just wanted to show you the inside door of that closet because that is where I am basically keeping our COVID supplies. Also, if you want to see that first apartment prepping video, I will leave a link in the description box so you could take a look at how we are storing our food in this apartment. So let's get started. So as you can see here in the very top, I have some hand sanitizer. I have some hand sanitizing wipes. And in the last section there, I have some masks. Below that, I have uh, two containers of the disinfecting wipes. This is the smaller containers and I do leave those in my car. I have some more hand sanitizer. Uh, I have two of the disinfecting sprays from Kroger. And the rest of the disinfecting sprays are Lysol. Now, we buy Lysol whenever we can find it because my mother actually works as a home health aide and she actually has to take some of these items with her to work sometimes because her patient may run out. Uh, that's why that one there is empty because she had to take some yesterday. She does get reimbursed, but if she wants to make sure her area is clean and where she works is clean and disinfected, she does have to take this stuff with her sometimes. So anyway, um, below that, um, the other rows are all, again, uh, Lysol. The bottom row is where I have kind of the full size cans of Lysol. I only have four of those. But yes, here's a glimpse again of our COVID supplies. And now I'm going to give you a glimpse of my coat closet. Now I have shown this closet in my very first video because we do keep food in this closet, but we also do keep non-food essentials as well. So down there we do have that large container of Lysol cleaner uh, and we just use that to refill some of the smaller bottles that we have in our kitchen underneath the sink. Also in the top of this closet we do keep some disinfecting wipes and I have two disinfecting sprays. Now this particular closet is off the entryway and it is also right next to the kitchen. And this is the area where we use these items the most. So when we are coming in, um, we leave our shoes in the entryway and so we spray down our shoes with the disinfecting spray. Uh, also when we are coming in with groceries or anything from outside the home, any sort of bags, any items like that, we will use the disinfecting wipes to wipe that stuff down before we take it into the rest of to the other parts of the apartment. So this is easy access. And so this is a great place for us to have this stuff. Now let's take a look at the laundry closet. So here's the top of the washer and dryer in the laundry closet. We do keep one container of laundry detergent and one fabric softener on the top of the dryer. And then below uh, on the floor in front of the dryer is where we keep our stockpile or some of our stockpile. So as you can see here, I have two containers of the laundry detergent. I have one container of bleach and I have one container of the um, fabric softener. We don't really use bleach too often. So I only have this one and I have another one in the kitchen. Now moving over to in front of the washing machine, we just keep more of these disinfecting wipes on hand. Now the top of that laundry closet is where I keep our toilet paper 
and our paper towels. Now, I do keep more paper towels and toilet paper in my storage unit. Uh, and I did have to go this week, so I did get a little bit of footage for that, and I will show that at the end of the video. So here's the hallway outside of my bathroom. I keep these units um, to store some personal care items and toiletries, and I'm just going to open up the drawers and let you see what's inside. Now first, uh, these three bins on the top, they were underneath my bathroom sink, but they don't fit under there anymore, so I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with them. But for now, they're on top of uh, the storage units, and uh, I just kind of, they're just going to stay there until I can figure out what to do. But in the top one, I have some tissue. In the middle one, I, that's where we keep our gloves that we use when we leave the apartment to go grocery shopping or anything like that. And then in the bottom one, that's where I am. This stuff is just temporarily there. I haven't gotten around to putting this stuff into my first aid kit or my emergency bag. So it's just going to sit there until I get around to putting that stuff away. So this first drawer is basically the dental hygiene drawer. Uh, so I have several items for teeth. <laughs> Uh, so I do have some Q-tips there. I also have these dental sticks. Also further in the back, I have some more floss. I have this, um, I have some mouthwash. And beneath the mouthwash, I have toothpaste. And then on the other side here, I have some packages of uh, toothbrushes. Uh, I also have these dental kits that I got from Big Lots. But that's everything that's in the dental hygiene drawer. So in the second drawer, I just have hand soap. It's all hand soap. And that's it for that drawer. The drawer below, I just keep Kleenex tissues in it. So in the next bin, the top drawer has some cotton balls on the top, and then I have these two large containers of body wash. Uh, they don't fit anywhere else, so they had to go here, but I do have some additional body wash that you'll also see. The two drawers below are just for uh, bath cloths and kitchen linens because we don't have a linen closet. So right now, this is inside of the bathroom. This is the cabinet that is below my bathroom sink, as you can see there. Now this is where I keep the bulk of our cleaning supplies. So it's mostly cleaning, but I do have some alcohol and peroxide under here as well. So let's just open this up. As you can see, on one side is where my cleaners are. So I have some Clorox cleanup, some Lysol, I have some method cleaner. I I also have an, a micro band cleaner in there as well that I have never used. Uh, I have some of the toilet bowl cleaner. I have some larger containers of Lysol to uh, use to refill some of the smaller bottles. And then on the other side of the cabinet is where I keep my alcohol and peroxide. I have two containers of the disinfecting wipes. I do still have some vinegar down there that I use occasionally to clean up. And I also have some stuff to mop the floor and my mouthwash. So that's what's underneath this particular uh, cabinet. I do have a, there is a drawer underneath this cabinet that I use to uh, store my hair supplies, but I'm not going to open that drawer up right now. And now we're going to take a look in my bedroom. So here's the door on the inside of my bedroom. As you can see, I have another shoe organizer there that comes from Walmart as well. And I just use this to store some of my personal care items and toiletries. So let's take a closer look. So at the top, the first two rows are basically hair care supplies. So I have things like shower combs, some leave-ins, uh, some shampoo, some conditioner, some deep conditioner, 
Uh, I have qu quite a bit of stuff in the shower already, but this stuff here is actually what I consider my staples. And so I want to make sure that I maintain as much of that as I possibly can. So I'm going to continue to buy more of this stuff um, just until I feel like I have enough to maybe be a three to six month supply. So anyway, the next two rows are basically shower items. Uh, so, well, with the exception of that hand soap right there, um, that's that hand soap is actually my favorite fragrance of hand soap. So I made, wanted to make sure I had some just for my bathroom. But the rest of this stuff is basically just stuff that's used in the shower. It's like soap and, you know, that sort of thing. And then the next row is also shower stuff. So that's a shower um, body wash. And then I have in, in shower body lotions. Below that, uh, I have one shower gel right there. But the rest of this is moisturizer. So I have some face moisturizer, my SPF moisturizer. Uh, and then I have body lotions. Uh, the other two uh, have body lotions in them. Uh, the next one, uh, that is a body lotion. Um, and then I have some feminine sprays. And I have some lip items as well as this is where I keep some of my essential oils. Uh, the next one is actually my deodorants. And then uh, the bottom row, uh, this, there's only two openings in the bottom. I have some matches. I have some plastic bags for my hair, um, a manicure pedicure set. And then over here I have hand sanitizing wipes or yeah, hand sanitizing wipes. And then I have these multi-purpose alcohol wipes. So that is what, how I am storing personal care items inside of my bedroom right now. All right, so here's one last look at this item, these items. Uh, I considered putting this on the bathroom door, but again, because my bathroom is technically also the guest bathroom, I just didn't feel comfortable with people seeing this stuff if they had to go to the bathroom. But anyway, next I am going to show you my storage unit. And finally, here is my storage unit. Uh, I, I believe it's five by five or five by four. I can never quite remember which, but it's a small unit. Um, I do keep the bulk of our paper towels and toilet paper in here. So I have about four paper towels and three toilet papers. Also, I keep uh, more of our liquid laundry detergent in here as well. And I just have some bins that I have been pulling out of that front closet that I showed you. So anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great week. Bye-bye.